thank everyone for coming out on a blustery January day. I've stood up here before and said, here's a chance to watch a piece of boxing history right here in your hometown of Birmingham. And I've said it three times, and each time I said it, I thought to myself, I'm not sure when that's going to happen again next, because the champ is in such demand around the world, who knows when he'll be able to return. And here we are again, and we'll say it again. Don't miss a piece of history, boxing history, next month right here at Legacy Arena. And typically, I like the mayor to make the announcement that the fight is coming, but this time we went on ticket sales uh, last week. We went to take advantage of the New Year's holiday weekend, and uh, I'm glad we did. Ticket sales are off to a very, very quick start. As a matter of fact, ticket sales are pacing right along with last fight record crowd among the three that we've had here previously. Uh, the last fight had 11,974, and I would tell you five days removed from on sale last time, that's we're about where we were uh, with that fight. So we're very encouraged by the results thus far on ticket sales. But even though the drama of the announcement is no longer there, we do want uh, one of the key people, if not the key person, in terms of making things like this happen all over the city. This man's been all over the city today. I know that they, they did another announcement for a new grocery store here in Birmingham. Uh, he's constantly making things happen, not the least of which are these great sporting events. So uh, if you would, please welcome Mayor William Bell. Thank you very much, Gene. It's, it's an honor for me to stand up here with the champ once again as he continues to fulfill his commitment to this state and allow Birmingham to be the showcase of his outstanding talents as a heavyweight champion of the world. So, champ, I want to thank you for the continuation with your team of really putting Birmingham at the forefront. February 25th, that's a great day from a um, tourism standpoint. Whenever I travel, representing the city of Birmingham, I always have someone invariably walk up and say, I was in Birmingham for that championship fight. I was in Birmingham for the last fight you all had. Didn't know that you all were a boxing town. Well, that's all because of the commitment that uh, uh, the team, Dante Wilder's uh, team, has really put forth an effort to make Birmingham his home when he defends his uh, championship. So I'm grateful for that. I look forward to having everyone come here for this great fight and look forward to an outstanding bout with the champion taking on a worthy opponent at that time. So thank you all very much. Thank you. One of our partners from Debella Entertainment, uh, Alex Dunruff. Alex? I just want to thank Gene for the introduction and the one who's joined us here today. Uh, before I get into the specifics about the fight, talk to you about uh, Deontay's opponent, I just want to acknowledge uh, some of the people that make an event like this happen, many of whom are on the stage uh, with us today. To the champ, Deontay Wilder, his trainer, Jay Dees. Um, I didn't mention this at the outset, but my official title with Devell Entertainment is Business and Legal Affairs, and among other things, one of the things I do is I serve as the in-house attorney, and I think <coughs> the hardest day I ever had on my job was uh, last May when I was in a hotel room, or in a hotel lobby in Sheffield, England, and I had to tell the heavyweight champion of the world that to that point, his most significant fight wasn't gonna happen as a result of uh, his opponent failing a drug test. But I learned more about Deontay and his team in that moment than you could learn from watching any fight because what you saw was not just an air of professionalism, but what you saw was how much not just succeeding meant to them, but succeeding the right way, succeeding with hard work, succeeding with dedication, succeeding through clean training, right? And I give Deontay a lot of credit because not only has he committed himself to maintaining the heavyweight championship of the world, He's committed himself to making sure that boxing is a clean, safe, and competitive sport. And I'm proud to announce that again, there will be Olympic-style drug testing in place for this fight. And that's a credit to Deontay Wilder and his commitment to a clean sport 
and to his team. Andrzej Babchik, um, 35 and 1. As Gene mentioned, he fought down here several months ago. And he's made an impression just about everywhere he's fought. One thing about Andre is his promoter is Leon Margulies, who's someone who, in many ways, has been a partner, has been a great friend to Devel Entertainment. And Leon Margulies does not bring a fighter into a championship fight who is not there to win, and who is not there to give his absolute all, and in a fight like this is not there to do anything but spoil the party. And I have no doubt uh, that Andre will come to Birmingham expecting to be the heavyweight champion of the world when he gets on a plane to leave. Jay is many things. Great trainer, he's a great promoter, and he's just a great guy. Please welcome JD. This will be a huge event, I'll tell you. Anjay is bringing it, and he, you heard him say himself, he's going to be the most prepared that he's ever been, and that's that's exactly what we want. That's what we expect because he's 33 and one. He's got 19 knockouts. He's got six knockouts in a row. He's six foot five. He's 230 pounds. And when I told my assistant coaches, uh, Russ Amber and Mark Breedman, who we were fighting, Russ said, oh, I remember that kid. I know him. That's, that, that kid was a tremendous amateur fighter, one of the best can't-miss prospects that came along. Tremendous skill set. Probably the best skill set we've seen. And so we're going to have to be ready. But I'll tell you something else. I don't know what everybody else was doing on Christmas holiday, but Deontay Wilder was in the gym. We were in the gym with him. We were sweating it out. Everybody else, probably 99% of boxers around the world said, let's start fresh in 17. Well, we didn't start fresh in 17. We were still working in 2016. After two major surgeries, Deontay was back in the gym working with one hand while his other arm recovered which is taking a page out of Larry Holmes' book. Larry Holmes had the greatest jab in heavyweight history because he broke his right hand and practiced six weeks with just the left. We did the same thing. Deontay's left hand is on a whole nother level than it's ever been. It was already on a fantastic level. And his right hand, of course, is 100% and has had the rest it needs. He is refreshed, renewed, invigorated, and ready to defend the title in Birmingham, Alabama. And as far as being the only coach and trainer to go from day one to the heavyweight title, to me what that speaks of is loyalty. Deontay could have gone anywhere in the world. He had offers from everywhere, including Europe, but he did. He stayed true to Alabama, and I think that's worth a lot. That's very rare in today's world. So let's give it up for the heavyweight champion of the world, Deontay Wilder. guys doing? Oh, yeah, so <laughs> How you guys doing? Yeah. Uh, I just want to take this time to say, you know, over and over again, each and every time that uh, we put on the show here, that I'm, I'm overexcited. You know, I'm always looking to, to defend my title all over the world because it says the heavyweight champion of the world. I believe going all over the world, but it's always special when I get to come back home. You know, it, it, I got a place, I got a special place in my heart for home. I tell people all the time, I don't just represent my city; I represent the state of Alabama. So everywhere I go is my home. You will be in for a great treat. You're gonna be in for a great treat each and every time we bring exciting fights. I don't think there's ever been a fight that I believe that's been boring, you know. And when you come, when you got two giants in the ring with fantastic records, uh, what more could y'all ask for? You know, I know he's coming to fight. I know he's going to be ready. I know he's going to be in shape. This is a big opportunity of his life, and. Uh, it was cool to, that he, he, he got a Christmas present from us that he'll be fighting for the world title. So that's that's pretty cool. I know he's not going to take it lightly. I'm sure they're training hard to come up to, to, to uh, Birmingham, Alabama and put on a great performance for my people. One thing about boxing that you can't deny, that we bring people all over the world here, baby. 
And that's the, that's, the, that's the significance behind this sport right here. I don't know about any other sport, but boxing bring all over the world. So we bring people all over the world right here to Alabama to see our culture, to see how we live, to see things right here. And I'm excited to do it, especially with the plan that Mary Bell has to develop Birmingham in a, uh, uh, more of a, a sport atmosphere where you can have tourists to come in and see what we have to offer because many people don't know. You know, they only go about what they hear or, or read it. And, you know, it's only better when you see it in person yourself. And I'm so excited to be able to work with so many great guys in this industry to make this happen. You know, I remember the last part I had, I had a woman come up to me and she, and, and she got very emotional because she said she always had a dream that she wanted to see a heavyweight title fight in her backyard, which she was. She lived here in Birmingham and she was claiming Birmingham was the backyard and we gave the opportunity to her and, and, and she was very emotional to the point tears were running down her face and here we is again one more time to get her that in her backyard as well as my backyard. This is my home territory. This is my home turf right here. So I'm looking forward to the fight. Looking forward to February the 25th on Fox. I, if you ain't got your ticket, you better get them right now. Don't wait. Don't wait or you're going to miss out. If you're traveling, you better get your hotels. Don't wait or you're going to be sleeping in your guards. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a great fight to start in 2017. And um, you know me, I'm always prepared. I came out with two major injuries with my bicep and my, my hand, something that was very, very serious. Uh, we had to work day and night with my arm. We're still working. But I will 100% with the arm and um, I can't wait to, to test it in the ring. That's gonna be the big tester. To test it in the ring with a durable opponent, opponent that's, that's, that's coming to take my head out and take my, my, my crown as well too. So I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait guys. So thank you guys for coming and um, I'll see you guys there. Another fight in Birmingham, it's kind of old hat, but it's, it's very exciting also to be here. Oh, most definitely. You know, it's always exciting to, to uh, come back to the city of Birmingham to um, have a title fight. You know, this has uh, been something that, that's been, one point in time was a, was a dream, and um, now it's a reality. And uh, very much so that this is the fourth time. So I'm always happy to come back home, you know, to fight and defend my title. Uh, Sometimes the crowd, sometime the crowd can be a little, little, I say, I won't say pressure because I never feel pressure, but it can be a little bit overwhelming for me in the ring and stuff like that. And sometimes I have to calm myself down and relax, but um, it's always a great feeling to be at home. I was going to say, you said that the last seven months, and that's what a roller coaster for you What these seven months have been like? What's been the hardest part of the country? A lot of pain, man. A lot of pain. But you know, it's, it's never fun when you break something, which I've done. This is my third time doing it, especially when you fight, you know, you need your hands uh, to protect yourself, to, uh, to to have an offense as well too, not only just defense. And um, my last fight, I only had offense, really had too much defense. I had to go off a of heart, I had to go off a of will and determination. And uh, those three things, that, those three things got me to where I am now. So it wasn't hard to convert to, to, to what I had to do. And uh, and with that being said, you know the injury, the, the pain, and the injury that, that came from my hand—that was that was that was something that I had to deal with. You know, I, I got a high tolerance of pain, and um, here I am now. You know, I had a fast recovery. My body tends to heal a little faster. Um, I don't know it because I've been after you all my life. I don't know what it is, but um, but we're 100 percent. The doctor said we're 100 percent recovered, bicep and hands. Um, my thing is, I'm looking to uh, really test it inside the ring. That's going to be the real test. Deontay, your opponent, not really a guy we've ever really heard of. Maybe a lot of people haven't, but his record is pretty impressive. Just what, is, what does he bring to Birmingham? What does he bring as far as the competition? Well, what I, what I feel my opponent brings um, to the table, he, he brings excitement. Like you said, with the record, 31 and 1. I only been knocked out one time, and that was getting a dual uh, opponent. Uh, which was supposed to be my opponent in May, Alexander Pavakin. Um, got 19 knockouts. He's a big guy. He's 6'5", 230 pounds. So it's, it's, it's even playing grounds, you know. 
you know, my thing is, you know, even though you don't know a person, that doesn't mean nothing. You know, before they knew Deontay Wilder, I had to present myself. You know, I had to get the opportunity first. And um, the same thing with my opponent, you know. He got to present himself. He got to he got to uh, showcase himself. And what better yet to do it than than on a worldwide stage as as um, fighting for a world title? You know, many people that's that big stars, such as name as Manny Pacquiao. You know, just to name one, had to start from somewhere. You know, we got many more besides him. Had to start somewhere. So you know, I love blessing people with opportunity. I think he's the perfect person for the situation that what it is with the recovery coming back off. But he's a dangerous opponent as well too. So the fight can go either way, but I'm always confident in what I'm what I'm capable of doing and um, I got a goal and that's to unify the titles. Hopefully we can get closer and closer this year. Definitely fighting for another belt and bring them all back home to Alabama. Deontay, has the injury changed you as a fighter? No, I'm still the same fighter. I still have the same mentality. I still have the same goals. Like I said, that's to unify the division. You know, um, once you have an injury, you automatically go into the to the state of mind uh, being hesitant to throw it because you broke it and you don't want to do it again. And um, that was camp is gonna gonna help me with. Um, we start camp Monday, and um, we're going full 100% full full throttle. So I'm gonna throw my hand just as if it's never been broken before, and um, I got to. I got to get it out of my head that uh, that that I heard it, and um, I don't want to be hesitant when it's time. When I see a big shot, I want to be able to have my muscle memory to react time I see the shot. So, camp is going to be a uh, very important important thing for me, and, uh, and I'm looking forward to it. Deontay, not looking past this opponent, but you got a lot of heavyweights that's calling out your name, um, like Tyson Fury. I think he recently came back. You have Anthony Joshua, uh, Luis Ortiz. Uh, who would you like to see yourself uh, in the ring with after this fight? Well, after this fight, you know, like I said before, I'm, I'm looking to unify the division. So any of them with a title, you, you can put my name down for it. You know, um, that's that's my ultimate, my main priority is to unify the division. So any of the title holders that, that wish to have me and have a, a defeat under their record, I am the man. I'm the man they need to come and see. So. I'm looking forward to 2017. The heavyweight division is is, is well alive now. Um, it's very exciting, and then, um, I'm just happy to be a part of it. A lot of times in myself, really, just a lot of soul searching, um, a lot of meditating, visualizing. You know how I want this year to go and end. You know I, I've had a lot of time to to just really just just sit back and think about a lot of things. And um, sometimes you need when you have a busy schedule, a busy life. Sometimes you just need that that space to yourself where you can just think about certain things, think about your career or your life, or do you really want to do it? Yeah, yeah. Business wise, I got so much stuff going on. I got so many things that I want to do. And um, that, that that time right there is something that I need. That way I can put things down on paper, personal-wise and business-wise, and, um, and start my uh, career off in 2017 on the right note and, uh, and lean towards my goals that I'm trying to accomplish. Anything else you'd like to say about this leg into the, uh, the fight in the next month? What's that? Anything else you'd like to say to your opponent or uh, people in the Well, to my opponent, you know, you know, it ain't nothing too much to say that um, I'm looking forward to, to see him in the ring. Uh, these gonna be doing. This is gonna be all my talking that I need. And uh, but to the fans, you know, each and every time we have a show here, you know, people come out, they turn up, and I appreciate you, Alabama. I appreciate you so much. That's one of the reasons why I'm still here. And um, but to all my fans, I love you so much. Um, thank you for the support, especially my day ones. Thank you guys so much for for being a part of my life and my journey on becoming the, the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world.